frequency of Hypebeast and it features NTS Radio and Always Do What You Want, two UK stalwarts joining forces for a very unlikely collaboration, it feels like to me, because I can't think of anything more opposing or more kind of opposite to skateboarding than NTS, unless you maybe say because the station originally was located in Dawson in that square where some guys were skating shit, but I never really got skateboarding vibes from NTS, but hey, what do I know? So it's courtesy of Hypebeast. It says London-based media station NTS originated in Hackney in 2011, um, founded by Femi Adiemi, who aimed to create an immersive ex music experience after for all. The platform quickly went global and currently broadcasts over 50 cities worldwide. You know what's really strange to say this is that our admission, especially coming from the UK and being part of the scene for a while and whatnot and doing my thing in terms of DJing on the side, blah, 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 blah. I've never in my life actually listened to NTS, like not even one show, like sat down and listened to it. And I had friends that had shows on there and whatnot and blah, de blah. And I've seen it from its inception and whatnot. But the idea of online radio has never really kind of pulled me in any way, shape or form. Maybe because I've been spoiled because I grew up in a generation where we had pirate radio stations and I would kind of run back home and be scanning the dial and clocking into radio stations and be recording, clipping sets on cassette or CD and shit or mini disc and bring them into school. So maybe that's the reason why. And that to me was the best version of radio. So this kind of online radio type of stuff never really resonated with me, especially nowadays where I'm doing a million things at once to sit down at one time to listen to a radio station just doesn't make any sense. I would want to listen to it after the the fact and if it is after the fact it's a, radio, it's a radio show that's been archived it kind of just feels like a mix i mean especially if you're not talking that much in it so it's a bit weird so yeah i've never really listened to nts ever like legit ever i know some workplaces that people are in they'll play nts radio in the background as like kind of office music but it's never really pulled me in that regard but anyway Maybe I'm in a minority because clearly they're doing great things because they're in 50 cities worldwide. Stepping into the world of streetwear, NTS is uniting with British skate brand Always Do What You Want, um, Always Do What You Should, sorry. Always do, I've got it wrong again. Always do what you should do for a collaborative offering of co-branded pieces. The duo presents a club-ready range designed for the dance floor featuring cozy hoodies, bottoms blasted with AD, ADWYD's at logo and NTS lettering. I've always wondered when it comes to club ready clothing, like what does that mean? Because sometimes you see club ready clothing and it's basically people designing harnesses, PVC leather trousers, bondage pants, chokers, or like, you know, um, flipping ninja techno type of stuff. Like what is actual club ready clothing? Because when I go to a club, I just try and swag out unless I'm going there to actually sweat I'm I'm going just to I'm I want to swag out I want to freak shit I mean I want to look good I'm not actually wearing like club ready clothes that's never been something that's been in my mind which is why I think sometimes the whole idea of having club wear can kind of come across a bit corny and a little bit lame I think you're better off maybe thinking about designing for the night or designing for somebody that is the nocturnal animal in some respects big up flipping Tom Ford the goat or that regard or maybe having it be part of the journey overall in someone's life and maybe telling that story through clothes but trying to design specifically with the nightclub in mind is a little bit naff like what are you gonna do you're gonna start designing trousers that have like little loops on the side so you can put your beer cup or your your, your beer tin or your cup on so you don't have to hold it in your hand all the time when you're standing around and shit two-stepping i don't know it just gets a bit, it gets into a very cringy naffy type of scene but from what we can see here on the screen so far um we have a t-shirts we had beanies for this nts and always do what you should collaboration um big up my guy martello um what do we have here we have an nts jacket which you'd never see me wearing this is like walking around wearing like boiler room gear like you need to be pushed off a bridge that is incredibly, incredibly lame, which is weird to say because, you know, if you follow something and you're a fan of something, it's no similar to being a fan of a band, but I can never picture myself walking around with fucking NTS gear. That sounds awful. Legitimately sounds awful. Like that legitimately sounds like you have like zero source, like honestly, because you're wanting them to do all the heavy lifting for you. But that jacket, I'm not a fan of it. They've got NTS or you do what you should. Slip mats, that's useful. More t-shirts. I guess the pants are included in it also, I guess. And then what else we got here? And then we've got a sweatsuit. The sweatsuit might be the best thing. But again, is this club ready? I don't think this is club ready personally for me. 
to go into a nightclub, especially the clubs that I go to, wearing a pullover hoodie and sweatpants. Like, and I think in some clubs that I go into, especially if I go in there and I look like this young black man does and I rock up there with a skateboard like I've had done in the past, some clubs may not even let me in because I don't look quote unquote queer enough or whatnot. Do you know what I mean? So that's the interesting side of it, right? Or you're not, you don't look like you're down. You look like you're from the road. You look like you could be a hoodlum. I see free may or run, hide. Oh, we're scared. So that's the interesting side about it. They're creating this club ready clothing with NTS, a well-known, well-regarded online radio platform. But if I actually wore this clothing and try to get into some clubs, especially here in London, especially if there are smaller productions that kind of cater to a certain demographic or a certain community of people, they may not let me in, mate. That's how crazy it is out here. But anyway, regardless, going back to the flipping article, it continues, it describes what's there, got party on markings, and it says the drop is meant to be happening today, right? Is it the 4th today or maybe another time? I'm not too sure what's happening, but you can purchase it if you want. Always do what you should. NTS collaboration is available on NTS. You can grab it. All the information is there. You know where to go. Google NTS. You'll be able to find it. You will be able to 